Hello, my name is uh, Greg Stoll. I am currently a um, film student at um, Himes Community College, um, and this is my COVID-19 isolation vlog. Um, I guess my first one got corrupted, so I got to remake this. Um, so basically, um, from what I've been doing basically during all of this is pretty much nothing. Um, it's usually I'm sleeping. Um, since I'm also doing um, streaming for video games, it would probably be streaming video games if I'm not doing all my classwork since all of that is now online. Um, when it comes to my social life, it hasn't really changed because I really only hung out with like one or two people outside of school. And um, we still talk. We casually play video games or just call on the phone just to talk and see how everybody's doing and just check up each other's family. And um, other than that, it hasn't really affected me um, because I really didn't get that much out because usually I'm either at school or I'm doing my um, photography or I'm trying to pursue my gaming career. And um, when it comes to my family, um, our biggest concern was my grandmother um, because um, recently in the past couple weeks, in the last week actually, she um, her kidneys and all her insides basically got inflamed because of a stone or I, I really I'm not that smart with that so I really couldn't tell you I'm a film student not a uh, doctor but it was clogging something up that was causing her kidneys and liver and all that to get inflamed so she had to go to the hospital which is our biggest concern because since she is old and all this going down we kind of did not want to take her to the hospital but it was all we had left. So um, she had to get a surgery, had to get her gallbladder removed, so everything's good with her. And our um, before all this, she was going through a very bad living situation, so she ended up moving into our house. And now that um, we are going to put her in a home, and retirement home, and she got admitted and everything, but all this happened, all the retirement homes got shut down. But luckily, with the help of the hospital, um, she is now in a um, home. And she's loving it. She's getting fed well. She's sleeping well. She's better than she ever has been. Um, how um my future will be once this is all over. Um, hopefully I'll be able to um get back out to work because um before this started, I just recently got a job at the uh, Mississippi Braves, working for them, being a camera operator and a um music operator for them. But with all this, all these games getting canceled to sports, I am not able to uh, get paid working for them. So basically, um, all that I'm relying on basically is um, financial aid from school, which will ho hopefully come in in the next couple of days. Um, what really sucks for me is that um, I would be graduating, but um, since all this is, I have to finish. Um, other than that, um, when it first started, the coronavirus, I knew it was some sort of, like, very bad virus over in China, and I knew it was, like, killing a lot of people, which I thought was really crazy. It, to me, came on the radar during, Jewel, like, January, like, when I was in Minnesota, because it was a big thing with people traveling, because that's when it just started about, like, it was coming into other countries and continents and it was a big thing like because i was in the airports and people were talking about this and i saw these people with masks and i got home and then a couple weeks later i ended up going through dallas and it kept on getting bigger and then eventually um i got home right before spring break i got home the week before spring break went to school and then during spring break all of it broke out here and then um eventually extending our spring break and once I knew that they extended our spring break, I knew that the odds of us coming back and um, coming back to classes was very, very slim because all the other universities have already shut down. And so when it all started happening to like other schools and stuff, I knew it was going to happen to us. So I wasn't really that shocked when they were like, oh, the rest of the semester is going to be online. Um, when it comes to my family, besides me and my grandmother, um, my dad's an essential worker since he works for the pipelines, so he's he's out working. Um, my mom, she is an advisor or a head. I 
I couldn't really give you the details of Five Theta Kappa, and so she's out here working from home because they don't want nobody um, at the offices in Jackson. With my sister, she was a student at Southern Miss, so she was supposed to be finishing this semester and graduating, and she's really bummed about that, that she won't be able to graduate because she's been going to, she went to Heinz, so now she transferred, and she's about to graduate from Southern Miss, but she is really bummed about not being able to walk and graduate because she spent all this time and money. And um, for me, like I said, um, it's just a bummer because um, I was really starting to elevate my career, I guess, when it came to doing event photography for gaming and stuff. I was traveling a lot. Like I said, I just got back from Dallas from when all this started. And so now that everything is being halted, I mean, I'm not doing any more photography. I mean, I'm at the house trying to do photography just to keep my craft. But other than that, it's pretty much boring. Um, I think one thing I really miss the most is, like, being able to go out. Like, let's just, like, one weekend, all the, like, all the friends want to go out and bowl. We can't do that now. Like, we can't even, like, come to each other's house and watch a movie. Like, we have to do this over FaceTime. Like, um, I usually ended up watching a movie with some of my video game friends. We'll sit here, and I'll be like, let's go find a movie. And we'll watch a movie, and we'll talk. And, like, I guess that's what you call me getting out and being social now. So, I mean, really hoping this ends soon. But, um, yep, this is my um, COVID-19 vlog for um, April 14th of 2020.